Hi there, Andrew from C1D Paintball. I am wearing a paintball shirt. Under shirt I wear. Because right now, as I record this, it's during uh, COVID. And uh, yeah, we ain't going out there for now, for a while. And that ties into this video. As I review a lot of old clips and uh, be able to, you know, just to clean out the cache to uh, videos uh, that I've kind of had on hold and all that right now since we can't be playing making new clips, um, I reviewed this one again uh, because it's actually featured in the video called Hunting the Pro. Now, like, almost all the videos we ever made are from my, my, my helmet. Uh, Connor has had it on for a couple times, uh, a couple of games, uh, but mostly his clips will be like the side clip, you know, in the corner. I'll have the main screen and the corner is him and we flip sometimes, but it's mostly me always the main guy. Well, his clip in Hunting the Pro, which was one of our most viewed videos actually of, of 2020, um, Connor's footage features pretty predominantly, but mostly in the corner. And when I reviewed it again, just going through all this stuff, you know, as I look for some content to release, um, I realized, you know, this clips, uh, uh, this clip of him in this game is really, uh, in a nutshell, like the kind of player he is. I got a big mouth, so the kind of player I am, I'll do call outs, I'll have all these, I overthink things and that. Um, I have whatever style you want to call it, whatever I bring to the table, I bring to the table. Connor brings some really great stuff to the table uh, as far as C1D and yeah he's my son and if it wasn't for him I wouldn't be playing and I played once without him that's it and I don't want to do that again it's just so boring I mean, he's the reason why I play paintball man um, just because he's my son doesn't mean I'm going to inflate his tires I'm going to talk about his strengths for sure like I said it's not about what he brings to the table and we'll talk about that but it's a really cool clip so instead of just isolating it in the corner and going back and forth like we did for hunting the pro you're going to see that entire uh, video just as the main focus the big thing if you didn't see that video or just a reminder if you did is the game before the other team had a, a speedball player who was just insane the guy just destroyed us so going into this game uh, that this video was taken at myself alex and connor you know our big thing was let's get the pro out so we have to focus on that get them out and we did get the pro out but uh you know hey watch the videos see what it is and uh we'll go from there All right, so Connor is at the uh, hangman position, good power position. He is focused on the pro who we know is gonna go to this corner by City Hall. Now, Connor brings a lot of things to the table. I've mentioned that before. Speed, he is a really fast runner. He, you know, he, he shoots across the field very well. Uh, he's great with callouts. He sees areas to set up that really uh, a lot of others don't he'll do things like he'll run across the field and go into a an abandoned area that you wouldn't think to go he's really good with those he's a good decision maker uh, communicates well uh, and he does help those new players just doesn't do it because dad does it but he really does so you'll see a lot of things he brings to the table here So Connor does have an angle on the pro here. The pro is at City Hall, he's gonna hold that angle. It doesn't matter how long, but he's gonna hold it, and when he's done here, he's gonna move, and he's gonna move fast, because that's what Connor does. Oh, yeah. 
behind the barrel. I don't 
到。They're in the building. They're they're not allowed in the building. They're in the right building. On a part of your dad is on a bestie ma. He's in the window to the left, the second building. Okay, I'll show, I'll show you what building he was in. That one, see it? Yeah. Alright, so that's it for the video. Uh, it is a stalemate in the end. Uh, Connor and Alex uh, hold the fort after I'd been knocked out. Um, now, by any means, you by no means, sorry, by no means, not any means, by no means should you think that me trading out, because after I got the pro, I got hit, that that was an even thing. I would have sacrificed myself to start take the pro, because he, even though we got him in this game, he decimated our ranks on the south path, because uh, he's that good. So uh, when I go out and he goes out, at the same time, basically, uh, that's not a trade out. That's a win for us because Pearl's a much better player than than, than me. But uh, Connor and uh, Alex, as I was saying, they held up, so it's a tie because our forces had been decimated. They did well in the back line, and uh, so you know, I hope he just has a better angle on some of the things Connor does, and just for one game too. I mean, he he adapts very well and he mixes things up. I mean, uh, I like to think a lot of the guys uh, I play with and most paintballers do like to mix it up a bit, but uh, he really has a lot of tricks in his bag. It's like me, if you're if you're comparing to like a pitcher, I got maybe two or three pitchers in my rotation. You know, the first two I may be really good at, the third one I try. Uh, he's got a whole stable of pitches, if you want to use that analogy. He's got different things he can do. It's great to play with him for many reasons, not only because he's my son, because I really learn a lot playing with him, and he really is a team player. And I like the fact that the things, you know, he does that I don't do complements the whole team. Uh, not only the C1D players, but uh, anybody playing on our side, whether they be new or veteran players. So that's it for the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, drop a like or subscribe if you haven't, if you feel it's merited. Otherwise, just have a good one. And uh, remember to help those new players out there. Uh, be friendly. Give them little tips. Be positive because they're the future of the game. Game over.